Hello friends, today we're going to be talking about the baby Moses again this week with our friend Travis over here who's quite shy, but he loves Bible stories and so do you. So, in this story, we're going to be talking about how God is always with us even when we're scared. And that's something that really shows in the story of Moses. And so we'll see what you can remember from last week when we recover this and let's see if you can answer the questions right from your house. So, in the story, a long time ago, in a place called Egypt, there was a king, and they called him Pharaoh. So, King Pharaoh, oh, he has a question. Do you guys remember, was King Pharaoh, the Pharaoh, a bad Pharaoh or a nice Pharaoh? You're right, he was a bad Pharaoh, and he made a bad law. This law said that if you're a baby boy, that he was going to come and get you and maybe even hurt you. And so what they did is a lot of people hid their kids. And so that's what happened to Moses. So Moses' mom had baby Moses, but he had, she had to hide him and hide him and hide him from um, the Pharaoh. And the thing is, that's a hard way to live because eventually they couldn't hide him any longer. So they had to uh, hide him somewhere else. So what they did is, oh, I'm wondering, do you remember where Moses' mommy hid Moses? She put him somewhere. Do you remember what it was? It was a basket. She hid him in a little basket that you can see right here. If you need some clues, I would look at the, the picture back here that shows Moses' story. And next, they, she took him, put him in the basket, and put him down the river. It's called the Nile River. It's still there today. So he went down the river, and she asked one person that she knew to watch the baby as he went down the river. Do you remember if it was Moses' uncle? No, it was Moses' sister. And she, so she watched baby Moses as he went down the river. And here's the next question. After he went down the river, who found him? Do you remember? It was the princess of Egypt that went, that came down the river. No, that, that was here at the river and saw baby Moses. She saw a basket over there and she's like, oh. Somebody go get that basket. So all her people went and grabbed the basket. And then she took him right home and took care of him herself. Oh, oh, thank you, Travis. I forgot about the story. So what happened, she didn't take care of the baby herself. She said, who's going to take care of this baby for me? And the sister that was waiting went, oh, oh, I know somebody that can take care of him. So she found... Moses' mommy, and Moses' mommy took care of him. And the thing is, oh, thank you for reminding me, Travis. Travis is so good at remembering Bible stories. <laughs> but he's too shy to talk out loud. Um, and so now, in order for us to better understand this story, we're going to listen to a friend that was actually there when the Bible story happened, and it's our friend, Mr. Frog. And he's going to tell us all about the Bible story. So let's listen up. Hoppity. I'm a bumpy green frog who lives by a big river and I have an exciting story to tell you. Why just listen what happened early this morning. I was sitting by the river catching flies with my tongue. Uh, yummy. <laughs> Nothing like a delicious breakfast of bugs mm -mm -mm. to make a frog. Frogs love bugs. Jump for joy. I was right in the middle of catching a juicy fly 
when along came a lady carrying a basket. <gasps> what could be in the basket, I wondered. And then I saw a little girl beside the lady. They bit down and parted the tall grass where I live. Yeah, she's right what there, parting the grass. Were they looking for fish? Or frogs? Were they looking, were they looking for fish? Or frogs? The lady set a basket in the water. No. Not far from where I was sitting. I hope Pharaoh's mean soldiers don't find him. She said. Oh, I hope so, I too. Trust God to watch over him. Then she pushed the basket out into the water. As the basket began to float away, the lady turned to her little girl and said, Miriam, you stay hidden here in the tall grass and see what happens. Don't be afraid. She's hiding the tall grass Just right remember, here. Just remember, God is always with us when we're scared. Yes, mother. The girl replied. Then the nice lady tiptoed away. But the girl stayed and watched the basket. She crouched low in the grass like a little frog. Low in the grass, hiding? She's I hiding behind the grass. Too. I was a good watch frog. He's watching right here. He's watching baby Moses. I wondered and wondered what was hidden in the basket. Yeah, what is in that basket? Soon, the king's daughter came to wash in the river. She Taking saw the a basket. basket floating in the water and sent a servant girl to bring it to her. She's like, what's that? I hopped along what to there? see what would happen. I was such a curious little frog. He's watching. Watching what's happening. I had to find out what was in that basket. The princess peeked inside. She peeked inside? And guess what she saw? <gasps> It was a baby. It was a baby. A precious little baby boy. And he was crying. The princess liked the baby and decided to keep him for her very own. Then the little girl, who'd been hiding in the grass, ran up to the princess she and ran said, up. I can find someone to help take care of the baby for you. The princess nodded her head. So the little girl ran and got her mother. The princess ran said, Please take care of this baby for me. The mother and little girl looked very happy as they carried the baby away. <laughs> the princess looked happy too. I was glad that God took care of the little baby in the basket. In fact, I was such a happy little frog that I leapfrogged. Have you ever been so all happy that home. you jumped all over the place? Maybe all the way home? <laughs> I love that story. And so does my our buddy Travis. For a second there, he was playing the part of the princess. <laughs> so we're going to go over a few of the questions about the story with Travis. Because now we've gone over it two times. So I'm hoping we can really answer some of these questions. So, Travis, do you have any questions you want to get us started out with? Oh, wow, that's a good question, Travis. So he was wondering, um, he asked, do you think that Moses, Moses' mom was scared when she put him in the river? What do you guys think? Do you think when your, if your mommy put you in a river as a baby, she would be a little scared? I think so too, Travis. I think that if I put my baby in the river, I'd be scared. But you know what? When she was scared, who was with her? God. God was with her the whole time. He never uh, left her. Yeah, Travis. God never leaves us. God was with Moses here. He was with Moses here. He was with Moses' mom and Moses' sister. He was even here. And he, he helped the princess find baby Moses and maybe even Moses. You're right, Travis. I think Moses might have been with Mr. Frog as well. <laughs> I mean, not Moses. Gee, God was with Mr. Frog as well. Sorry, I stumbled on my words. And Mos and God was also with, with Moses' mother right here. And she was able to find baby Moses herself. So we learned that if... God is always with us, even when we're scared. So we don't have to be scared. We don't have to be afraid. 
because he's always there and he helps us out when we need him. Thank you for joining me on this Bible story. I'll see you next week.